Steph, uh, Gingrich, is that how you say it? Yeah, that's right. What kinds of radio have you done before? God, let's see. What haven't I done? College radio, small town station, did a couple podcasts. Lots of live mixing for my band. Oh, okay. So you know your way around an audio booth. Yeah, totally. Your friend did tell me you were overqualified for this job. I just assumed he was, you know. Being Gabe? Right. <sighs> well, look, if you can handle it without much supervision, the job's yours. Awesome. Now, part of your responsibilities would be managing the record store. Given all your retail experience on your resume, I'm sure that won't be a problem. Oh, right. Yeah, no problem at all. Great. So your friend said you quit your band to be here. Can I ask why? Sorry. Maybe that's too personal. No, it's fine. Um, no big reason. I'm just trying to... Okay. There was a breakup involved. Ah. So I wanted a change of scenery. A new job in a gorgeous place. Well, I hope we live up to expectations. Haven Springs is no Seattle. I think I'll love it. Okay, the manager left me a task list for my first day, so that's probably around here somewhere. What are you supposed to be? Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. Are you the Haven High mascot? Bet I could get these to stick to the bulletin board from here. Great, here's the list.
Introduce myself on air? Huh. Let's give this a shot. Need to turn this on first. One of these buttons is the mic switch. What's up, Kind Haven listeners? Steph here. KRCT's new maestro of music, sultan of songs, tyrant of tunes. You get the picture. We've got some great music coming up for you, so、uh, keep it here. You're listening to KRCT. Well, I promised great music, so next up. Check out the playlist. This is Haven's number one indie rock playlist. Pretty sparse. It'll do, I guess. Hello. Sorry, computer DJ. It's my turn now. Shaking things up already, Gingrich. Maybe I can play a few more songs today. Now I'm supposed to read some ad copy. That must be around here too. Business to get excited about: Avalanche Ice Cream in downtown Haven Springs. The variety of flavors they've got is gonna blow your freaking mind. You think I'm kidding? These guys have, and I hope you're sitting down. Crab Rangoon flavored ice cream. Just saying. So come on down to Avalanche Ice Cream and get yourself a scoop from our good pals. Sunny and Angela Avalanche, explorers of the uncharted reaches of ice cream experience. Ooh, I need a break. I'll just step away from the desk for a sec. I'm gonna be shaking up the playlist a bit here at KRCT, so get your ears ready for some fresh tunes, and keep it here. This year's spring festival is right around the corner, so、uh, see Eleanor at the flower shop for volunteer opportunities.
pretty sparse. Let's hear from one of our sponsors. PutToWorkColorado.com has been putting Coloradans to work since 2002 using their licensed experts. These people are like career Sherpas, helping you scale the mountain of your dreams. But Steph, you say, I'm a unique artisan with a highly specialized skill set. No way they'll have a job for me. To which I say, not with that attitude. And just for my listeners, get a free trial membership with promo code KRCT. I've been meaning to fill out my dating app profile. Steph Gingrich, this is your life. Next, gotta out myself as a media snob. It's only fair. What kind of stuff do I want to name drop? And top it off with a dash of what I'm looking for. You're kidding. There's probably work for me to do in the store as well. front counter. Eleanor knows I kill plants. She willingly sent- I've had maybe three conversations with Eleanor, and she's already giving me flowers? I can see why Gabe loves her. The scariest thing about this book is the menacing overdue notice I get once a year. Your girlfriend is too good for you, man. French cuisine and you? Learn to shred on the guitar in 60 days. Mastering your email? Chapter 1. Turning your computer on. along with this woman.
I'll check out those posters. Maybe there's something to spruce up the walls. As for music, I can at least start by updating the new releases. And, yep, there's the vent. Might as well take a look. Kasha's favorite musical, I take it. Oof. We need to get this sucker filled up. I had this melody in my head all night. Finally got out of bed and recorded it. I wonder how... This is actually pretty sick. I guess upgrading from humming to actual music is a good next step. Okay, so what instrument should I play this thing on? Yeah, I bet it'll sound cool as a guitar riff. One day, bad clip art is going to make a comeback. And when that day comes, I'll be ready. If any of these ask me to dance like no one's watching, I'm buying myself a... Hmm. One of these might work. That sounds promising. Shit, that's coming from inside the booth. My first call. Better go answer it. You're on KRCT Radio, and you're talking to Steph. Yo, this the record store? Hmm, depends what you mean by this. What? See, this is a radio booth within a record store. And this voice you're speaking to, me, is a DJ who also works at the record store. But this phone call, as I mentioned, is decidedly for the radio follow? Uh, no. Could I just give you my order, and you can just, like, give it to whoever? <sighs> yeah, why not? Sweet. Alright, uh, I got Goodbye Means Forever by Kim Snyder, Going Our Separate Ways by The Seagulls, Don't Let the Door Hit You by Robbie Rooster, Oh, boy. What? No, nothing. Just, who are these for? My girlfriend. I saw them in her wish list online and decided to surprise her. Buy local, you know? Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeesh. I don't think this kid realizes that his girlfriend is loading up on breakup music. Okay. Look. I wonder if your girlfriend might be sending out some signals you're not picking up on? Yeah, you lost me there. <sighs> Alright dude, listen. I'm pretty sure your girlfriend's breaking up with you. 
How the hell would you know that? Gee, I don't know. Guess I'm psychic. Whatever, lady. Screw this. Thanks for calling KRCT. This is Haven's number one ish. Looks like I got here just in time. I may have no clue what I'm doing, but the good news is, maybe no one is listening anyway. Unicorn hunters. Barking up the wrong tree, I'm afraid. Then the moonshine will One day, if you're brave, unselfish, and true, you can be a real guitar. If we don't have any releases, what do we have? It's throwback time. Why, yes, I did put up a poster of cute girls flexing. Let's not all act surprised at once. If you need me, When's the last time someone even I used this? No contact for two years. Then this mysterious package? <laughs> well played, Mikey. my old GM stuff. <laughs> Holy shit. Mikey really went for the nostalgia. Guess I should look through everything. My old notebook. Dad must have... 
really fun to reconnect with Mikey. It's been ages. But am I ready to GM a whole campaign again? Fuck yeah, I am. If these pages could talk, it would be in the most obnoxious elven accent ever. If these pages could talk, it would be in the most obnoxious elven accent ever. Mikey still got it. Elamon, though, has seen better days. I gifted this to Mikey before I left for Seattle. Wonder if I'd even understand half of it now. Oh my god. This takes me back. Going with the not-so-quiet seaside village. Time to dust off my terrible nautical accent. Yar. I mean, who am I kidding? I totally would have gone to this tour. If I emptied all these out, I could make a wicked fucking fort, but I'm not doing that right now. All those years of high school set design were preparing me for this moment. Oh, it just needs some screws. Is there an animal in there? Hey, you in there. I'm coming back tomorrow with Febreze and a broom. So consider yourself warned.
ARCT, Steph here. Hey, are you the psychic? Really? Yeah, that's her. You predicted I was going to dump Danny before I did it, right? So you're psychic. Sorry, no. <laughs> it was your music. You were apparently shopping for breakup records. No, I was shopping for acoustic guitar records because I'm learning the guitar. But you knew what I was really feeling, hence psychic. Okay, so my best friend for basically my whole life, Tara, and I both got into CU. But then I got into UC, which is my dream school. I know I'm always supposed to follow my dreams, but I'm so scared of what will happen if I go to school without Tara. She's my rock. That's... Are you sure you want to talk about this with me? Didn't we just go over this? Are you going to help me or not? Okay. Just give me a second. Damn. How do I tell this girl's future? All right. What am I going to tell this girl? Oof. A six is not great news. So, what's my prediction? Okay, I think I've got something for you. Ready? Yes. Okay, the good news is that you and Tara will definitely keep up your relationship. It's just that instead of best friends, you become mortal enemies. What? Why? A year into college, you both discover a gift for the art of lyrical expression known as poetry. I love poetry. But it's not all roses and violets. The world of poetry journals is small and brutally competitive. Soon, the two of you are passively aggressively sniping at one another, then aggressively aggressively. Instead of becoming the next Emily Dickinson, you end up just being a dick. Hate is a feathered thing. All right. That's all I got. Hope it wasn't too brutal. It was rough. But I think it'll help prepare me for the bumpy roads ahead. Thanks, Steph. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. Eventually, I'll need to get back in the booth. And now, a message from one of KRCT's sponsors, the Black Lantern. Here in Haven, the Black Lantern is known for its bearded proprietor. Prefer your dinner served by a man from the 1800s? Then look no further. And then there's the food. Try the Lantern's Absurdly spicy jalapeno poppers. Only the strongest of stomach dare attempt to conquer Jed's signature app. Stop by the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you.
Eventually, I'll need to get back in the booth. Pretty sure the only other time I've used a landline was to call my cell phone. Oh my god, oh my god. Am I caller number 12? Dude, this job you got me? It's great? Turns out it's like four jobs simultaneously. And I'm qualified for maybe three quarters of one? Why did I let you convince me to bullshit my way through that interview? Uh, you know you're on the air, right? Jesse had a wife, two more for his life. Three children, they were brave. But that dirty little coward who shot Mr. Howard and laid poor Jesse <laughs> oh, Avoid situations like these with PutToWorkColorado.com Elevate your job prospects today. For he ate of Jesse's bread and slept in Jesse's bed and he laid poor Jesse in his grave. Jesse had a wife to mourn for his life. Haven listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate Pride. One of my favorite promotions this month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me, answering your calls in just a few minutes. It's too damn hot to be... What's it called? Talking. Eats no excuse. Better take this call. Hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well, I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Oh, okay. What happened? Ah, uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk, but... My boy Grady sat me down yesterday, and he, I guess the term you'd use is, he came out to me. And I could have handled it a lot better than I did. What 
What does that mean? You could have handled it better? I didn't yell at him or anything. I just shut down. I didn't know what to say. Oof. That must have been rough for poor Grady. Anyway, he loves your show, listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf. Just so he knows I hear him and I love him. Hey, everybody screws up sometimes, man. I'm proud of you for trying to make it better. That's very kind of you. Just maybe try to be on board from now on. Having a queer kid is an absolute blessing. I wish more dads acted like it. Yeah, for sure. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Grady played it for me right before he tried to talk to me. He said it was meaningful to him. All right. Let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. Hey, Steph. Your pals at Smolder have noticed you're having a massive dry spell on account of you live in fucking nowhere, Colorado. Would you like to expand your dating radius? What's the worst that could happen? Hmm, what kind of opener do I want to use?
time to deliver good music. From the storage room to the masses. Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. I'll catch up with you eventually, Jen. Anyway, I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Man, that game was something else. You're getting better. I might have to actually try this time. Try all you want. This is my game. Pride cometh before a fall, Stephanie. Well, whatever you do, don't think about Jed in a diaper. Ugh, dude! I said not to think about it. Goo goo ga ga, Steph! Let me pour you a glass of my top shelf formula. I'm not listening. Where, <laughs> Steph? Where'd you go, damn it? I haven't developed object permanence yet. So, how's the fake psychic gig? Fake? Bitch, I'm getting a premonition right now. It's of me whipping your ass. <laughs> Did you just call me a bitch? Oh, damn. What happened, Gabe? I thought you were going to try this time. My hands were sweaty. It's the poor craftsman who blames his tool. My first victory on the board. Not gonna make a big deal. Don't want to jinx it. that here or I'll be shaking it on the radio until I get fired. <laughs> Ooh, maybe it's time for a little record store archaeology. That must have been some party. Oh wow, cradle snap. I think my dad had their record. Kasha ran this place for a long time. I bet you've seen your fair share of bad haircuts, haven't you? That's not even close to enough stickers. Great. That guy's request is locked in here. And instead of a combo, I have four drawings. Those drawings were meant to be a hint. Guess I should look around the store. Ugh. I'm just gonna pretend that all the mice moved out and went to Mouse College by now. Have I not unpacked my drums because I still feel guilty about leaving the band? Or am I just lazy? Damn it, past Dave. Those 
look like ghosts to me. Grabbing this for reference. Man, that guitar's seen some shit. Actual Haven teenagers buying signed copies of Aenor is the most wholesome shit I've ever seen. Both shades are undeniably star-shaped. Could be useful. I hate that I actually find this funny. Now if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Taking this to look at later. When you're competing with the entire internet, you need to get aggressive. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Borrowing this for a minute. That's all four records. Watch your back, combo. Sick GTO. The great and noble Elamon has been through many hardships. He's lost multiple limbs, died and come back to life who knows how many times. Twelve. But through it all, Elamon has always counted on one thing. Friendship the love and care of a cherished friend. Wait, what? I mean, that's nice, Steph, but you know Elamon fights alone. Always has, always will. I'm talking about your sword. Oh, carry on. I could listen to that melody I've been tinkering with. Not bad, kind of sparse, but I dig it. Still feel like it's missing something though. Hmm, guess it needs a hook, but what kind? Maybe like a really anthemic hook. Something that makes you feel like you're putting your fist in the air. Maybe a handful of these could lure the cat out of the walls. I thought cats were supposed to be low maintenance. All this labeling is giving me flashbacks to the thankless world of high school stage managing. Where's a good spot to put these? 
They drop a few treats there. Cats love windowsills, right? Or maybe over there? It's a nice quiet spot. Consider it a peace offering. Huh, Chef Betty's senior cooking class is getting popular. If Ducky doesn't pick up his Bobby Darren album, I'm sacrificing it to the big band gods. So, something hidden in these is supposed to get me in there. Better get code cracking. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, hmm, those look like I spy with my little eye. Five. Let's pop this bad boy open. How do these records turn into a combination of numbers? Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Hmm, those shades are, those look like ghosts to me. I spy with my little eye. Five, um, eyes? Let's pop this bad boy open. Damn, that wasn't it. Guess that wasn't it either. Finally, I can destroy Mordor and get on with my day. Oh, awesome. Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. I can finally get back in the booth and play this record, if anyone still cares. Last thing I've got to do today is pack up all the pride decorations. It took me way too long to notice this. to make sure I've read all three ads today. And now, a message from our sponsors. Your friends at Avalanche Ice Cream would like... Wait. What is that? What is that? Stay with me here, guys. I'll try to describe what I'm seeing. I think a UFO just landed outside the record store. Okay, there's a door. It's opening. The aliens are coming out. Two of them. They're heading into Avalanche now. Wait, what's this? The aliens love the ice cream. One appears to be raving over the new Cookie Mobster Cone, 
and the other is enraptured by a scoop of pigs in mud. The aliens are getting back on their ship. They're taking off. <laughs> Woo! That was tense. I sure am glad Avalanche Ice Cream was here to save the day. Why not stop in and show them your appreciation? Dang, I'm blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. Haven listeners, are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. The RMG's reporters are so local. That you, yes you, are eating lunch with one right now. And you didn't even know it. And as locals, these reporters... They see that graffiti too, and they cover it. They see those potholes too, and they'll cover it. And that unsolicited dick pic you just sent? Yeah, they saw that too. If you want world-class fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard, the Rocky Mountain Gazette. I just complicated when I say too much. Thanks for calling in. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? I'm sorry, I don't know what that was. <laughs> what can I predict for you? I am in serious need of some divine foresight. And having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week. Dang. Big moment. Are your knees weak? Palms sweaty? I feel like I'm about to throw up, yes. I can see why a prediction is in order. Yeah, so if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, that'd be great. I will consult with Mother Fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean my D20. I'm getting an image of this family dinner. Okay. Sorry to say, I don't see it going great. Not going great how? Surprise, surprise. Politics comes up. You manage to nip the conversation before it gets too far, but the mood is ruined. Ugh. They all said they'd be cool. What matters is the girl you're seeing is really cool about it. <laughs> you still really like her, and she still really likes you. I'm just... I'm tired of who I am making everything harder, you know? Yeah, I know. And I'm sorry for that. But being with her is worth all the trouble, right? God, so worth it. Okay, I can do this. Thanks, Seth. Good luck. Thanks for calling. Maybe now I can start a new show. I'll call it The Dateless Dating Advisor. RCT is brought to you in part by our sponsors at the Black Lantern. 
It's been a brutally hot summer. So visit the lantern and escape the heat with air conditioning. And if you sit in the right spot, you can even hear Jed grumble to himself about the electric bill. And if that's not enough to get you in the door, the upcoming 4th of July pool tournament will. All are welcome to come, play, and lose money to Ducky. Hit up the Black Lantern today and tell him Steph sent you. That was the last thing I needed to do on the radio. I still have to pack up the pride decorations, though. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. When I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. This place looks great. You play the game trying to explain your love is tame. But you like a dog out on the bottom. All good things must come to an end which means every pride decoration must come down. Izzy bought this for my kitchen table, our first pride together. Cheers. You look happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Fuck. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah, one little oasis in the year where you don't have to feel like it's you versus the world. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Happy Fried, Seattle. Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Also, I just want to say, holy shit, you all have made this the best pride ever, literally ever. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. Every time I look at this, I feel part of something. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. Same.
pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Oh, I know. <laughs> Come on. It's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. No, don't. Chloe, I swear to God. I love these so much. Our lettering was on point. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. And spending way too much money. And meeting cool people. And recharging my entire soul. Word. All right. Signs are dry. Let's go. Guess that's everything. But the flag on the front door. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Genderqueer pride? Bi pride? Pan pride? Lesbian pride? Uh, bear pride, I think? I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie, you look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride. Just like everyone else here once was. And they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. What the hell am I doing here? Steph, you know you can talk to me, right? About anything. If there was something to talk about... It's just... You haven't been yourself lately. You're working crazy hours, dodging calls. We're your family. We're here for you, you know? Citizens of Haven, do not touch those dials. I have a jam-packed show for you, going all night long. Of course, I'll keep playing you the dopest music in all the land. Of course, I'll answer your calls and your futures. And, of course, I'll update you on the saga of the record store Devil Cat and my futile attempts to tame her savage heart. But first, But first, another track. Okay, work mode, go. Man, it's almost like we're a real radio station now. Haven't been on top of my game lately, I guess. Kasha, you're still cool as hell. Mm. 
Aw, I was kind of pulling for Steph too. Get it together, Steph. Best foot forward. Man, what do I even say?
Don't know how much more quality fortune telling I can come up with. a lot of fun with Phi. Ugh. What is wrong with me? Have a big decision to make? A nerve-wracking event on the horizon? Wish you knew how it all turns out? With one little call, you can. Give me a ring and have your fortune told right here on air. It's cheaper than life insurance. Sometimes, this thing is the only reason I come to work. Fuck you, app. I stuck the chore list on my laptop. Let's see what still needs doing. Charlotte and I started this book club where we read the trashiest crime novels and then talk about how much we love them. Oh yeah, I should add a tally for yesterday's match. That game took a lot out of me, but then they all do. Rung by rung, sucker. been a little optimistic about the demand for these. I won't rest until you're more sticker than support beam. Backseat bingo. Why does that sound familiar? Holy shit. Like, Kasha Kasha? But wait, there's more. Looks like some vigilante justice to me. <laughs> Let's see what Ethan does with that. Damn, Ninja Cat, I just filled this up. Can't afford them yet. You can't just let customers pluck up all the good stuff. The campaign's kind of on hiatus right now. Violet gave this to me on our first date. Kind of made up for missing pride. At least at the time. Oh shit. 
I need to give this back. I should probably stop sourcing my daily caloric intake from this table. No matter how many times I clean it, I can't get rid of the smell. This is like 95% Twizzler wrappers. Hope the last person who used this remembered to clock out. We can't afford 15 years of overtime. Of course Fiona wanted to be a bard. Of course she did. Fiona was amazing in this. Found this just dumped in a corner. I'm hoping the wiring's still good. Pull yourself together, Misty. Still haven't figured out what's making my snare buzz. Ugh. Oh man, I'm only 20 years too late. Legends tell of a distant epoch when more than one employee's coat hung from this rack. Step one of my grand plan to corrupt the youth. Let's see what I have left. Oh good, all of it. All right, just a few chores left. Gotta grab this from the CD section. Get it? Steph picks instead of staff picks? Ryan made me do it. Country is one part heartbreak? One part liquor, and then a motherfucking fiddle that can rock your ass. See, this one I can keep up for a while. Thanks, Gabe. Still amazes me that we now sell comics. Props to Thanor for drumming up so much interest. Found it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the rest of this for the new employee, assuming I can get one. It's been a while since I've worked on my song-ish thing. I've been tinkering with this one for like half a year and I still don't know what it's supposed to be. I like it, though, so far. It might sound pretty dope with a breakdown, Right? Oh, and a vocal track. Maybe I'll really bring that epic victory vibe in the breakdown. It's gonna be a lot of work, but I'm on a roll now.
No, Ryan, they mean remaining players who also hatched a dragon egg. Duh. So glad I decided to hang on to this monstrosity. They found her body in the junkyard. Like fucking trash. Oh my god, Chloe! Where's Chloe? Come on, Gingrich. Okay, work mode, go. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, all right, um, thanks for taking my call. Don't thank me yet. What can I predict you for? Well, I don't know. I'm out here for a three week stay in the Firewatch Tower outside of town. I was actually just kind of hoping to chat with someone. Dang. Three weeks alone in a little box? I thought I was a boss for surviving six hour shifts in mine. What can I say? I'm a level 90 loner. How about yourself? <laughs> Probably closer to like level 10. 
All right, fireman. Since this is still a fortune-telling show, how about this? You can tell me my fortune. <laughs> well, I'm no radio psychic, but I'll do my best. What would you like to know? What are the odds I end up being alone forever? Hmm, okay. Is this a fear or an aspiration? Well, it's the natural endpoint of my current trajectory, and I guess if I'm gonna end up there, I want it to at least be on purpose. I don't have a crystal cootie catcher or whatever to look into, but I can tell you this. Getting away from everyone is the easy part. Sometimes it's even too easy. Yeah, I know all about that. I thought you might. So I learned this the hard way, but the idea of being alone can be a lot more enticing than the reality. And too often, the people who want to be alone real bad, they're the ones who end up calling into radio shows just to hear a stranger's voice. But that wasn't really a fortune, was it? Ah, you got me. I'll have to do better next time. Thanks for the chat. And thank you for listening to KRCT. Here's an offer from our most loyal sponsors, Avalanche Ice Cream. Avalanche will be open on Halloween. So if mom stuffs a coat under your princess dress, know that you can swing by Avalanche and stick your sweaty face in the freezer. They'll be giving out free cones to anyone. Who does the monster mash? Yep, just right there in the store. Mash it up, get a free cone. Anyway, check it out. KRCT is proudly sponsored by Grimley's uh, Auto Repairs. Grimley's Auto Repairs, Haven Springs' most trusted name in automotive service. Let's talk about Grimley's record. They've proudly served our community for the love of the game. Which game? The car game, the community game, Name a game, they love it. And that's why they're in this business. So if you or someone you love is a car, <laughs> you owe it to yourself to check out Grimley's. Kind Haven listeners, by now, you've heard me talk about everything the Black Lantern is famous for. Great food, great beer, great service, and great atmosphere. So what are you waiting for? One more reason to go? Then consider... Dinner hour? Um, don't worry. You can still get dinner outside of that one hour. But yeah, dinner hour at the Lantern, it's the best. And just when you thought it couldn't get any better, you can now look forward to... Live Lobster on Monday evenings, also known as the Bison of the Ocean. These hefty creatures will be shipped to Colorado still kicking, ready to be boiled at the snap of your fingers. Drop by today and tell them Steph sent you. Still got chores to do in the store. Better head out there. Damn it, Fiona. 
I know you were just trying to help, but why couldn't you just mind your own business? Still amazes me that we now sell comics. Props to Thanor for drumming up so much interest. Get it? Steph picks instead of staff picks? Ryan made me do it. I've lost 20 years of lower back functionality using this goddamn relic. Ryan says it's state law for every place of business to feature living greenery, and I still can't tell if he's lying. Definitely getting this one framed. Definitely getting this one framed. We haven't exactly been getting the cream of the crop for this job opening. I am so not having this right now. Last chore. Just get it done.
It's just like any other day. Just like any other fucking day. Gabe! Still need to answer some calls before I peace out. You're on with Steph. Ah, yes. Okay, I need your help. I'm in trouble with HR. What did you do? I screwed up. I was chatting with my coworker about the gym. We were talking about leg day, and she said she wanted to work more on her lower body. Here it comes. What did you say? I said her butt was fine as is, and she shouldn't worry about it, which was dumb. Yeah, you think it's dumb to talk about your coworker's butt? I know, but does it really need to be a whole big thing? I'm not that kind of guy, really. But now I'm freaking out. Can you tell me what will happen with HR? I'll see what I can do. Ten, the most nothing number on the die. A conversation with HR. Not much to go on from the dice roll. So... What do I think this guy deserves? I'm back. Ready to face the music? Let's just get it over with. You sit down with HR in a hard plastic waiting room chair. Next to a hang in there poster from the 80s. You tell HR the same story you told me about leg day and not being that kind of guy, but your HR rep isn't having any of it. No, really? You read the riot act about appropriate workplace interactions, notes get scribbled in your file. In the end, you're let off with an official warning. That's so unfair. It was a stupid mistake. Does that make me some creep all of a sudden? Okay, relax. No one is calling you a creep. But you don't have to be a creep to have done a creepy thing. And if you weren't a creep, you'd care that what you said had the effect of creeping someone out. Right? I guess. So prove it. Take your punishment, learn your lesson, and move on. Please direct any further questions to your HR rep. Thanks for the call. Gabe's a great friend. More importantly, he's got booze. Gabe, listen. I want to drink until I can't feel feelings. Think you can help me out? I'll be right there. Mikey.
really glad we could hang out tonight. Like I said, this time of year for me, it's, uh... Well, you know. Yeah. Damn. Why am I such a downer? Come on. Let's see what monsters and trickery you have planned for Elamon to breeze past this week. <laughs> You're on. I just need to do a few things to get set up. Okay. Where were we? Haven't gotten much use out of the screen in our virtual campaign. But I like having it around. I need to check my notes. Hey, take your time. We playing or not? Shh, Wells is coming. Penis! <laughs> <laughs> I think Chloe and Rachel are playing their own game. <laughs> no. No. Pass me the nerd dice. The what? <sighs> Pass me the D20, D10, and D4, please. Sure thing. I'm gonna bash this Hydra's head in with its other heads. You got this. Everything okay? Just some memories. Good memory or bad memory? Is there a difference? I know what you mean. Sometimes the most painful memories are from before all this shit went down. I wasted so much time being jealous of Chloe and Rachel. <laughs> Whatever they had, I thought it was perfect. And now? I feel so fucking guilty that I spent even one second being anything but appreciative that they were in my life. You really think you did anything wrong? You were a kid. They didn't deserve my jealousy. They deserved so much better. Look, Steph, what you're feeling I'm fine. Come on, let's keep playing. I believe Elamon was about to enter the laboratory's engine room. Sounds right. Chloe and I weren't best friends or anything. But she was there for me when it mattered. She wasn't afraid of anything. Same for Rachel. She always said Chloe saved her life. But I'm pretty sure that went both ways. And if she could have, I know Chloe would have stopped at nothing to save Rachel. Because that's how strong she was. Rest in peace, Chloe. Rest in peace, Rachel. Fuck, I'm sorry. This was a bad idea. It's cool. We can stop. Yeah, no, I don't know. I was hiding in the back, you know? I was supposed to speak after you, but I realized that if I stood up there, I'd have to look at everyone. Chloe's mom, Rachel's parents, half the town. There was no way, so I bailed. I understood. Everyone did. No, you didn't. I know you wanted to, but I could see it in your face. You were disappointed. I needed time. You were always like a superhero to me. My brain couldn't make sense of you struggling like that. When I think about Chloe and Rachel, my whole grip on reality falls away. The people I care about, the stuff I like, how can any of it matter? What kind of world is it that lets that shit happen? 
I'll let you know if I figure it out. You know we don't have to keep playing. Let's try. If I died tomorrow, this notebook would be the most comprehensive and confusing record of my life. Let's see what horrible surprises are in store for you in the next room. Bring it on. And that's minus five HP. Oh, come on. How is your GMing even more devious from Seattle? Must be the rain. Hey, listen. You know next week is the... Well, it's the thing. One year. I was thinking... Why don't you come? It'll be... Well, you know... It'll be fucking horrible, but maybe a little less horrible if we're both there? Yeah, that sounds good. Why are you doing this? I said we could stop. No, I mean, why are you doing this? I ghosted you, again. When I ghost people, they go away, that's how it works. But you didn't. Why? Why do you think? Because I'm such a car wreck of a person, you can't look away even if you want to. Is that really what you think? Fuck. Steph, I've taken a lot of shit from you over the years, but this... I need you. That's why I keep coming back. In high school, I didn't know who I was without being Steph's best friend. And now when we hang out, it feels like I'm bringing that part of myself back from the dead. I need you because I'm not strong enough to be my real self without you in my life. That's it. Pretty fucking dumb of me, huh? Mikey, I'm so sorry. I know you are. It's not just you. If it makes you feel any better, I do this shit to everyone. It doesn't, but continue. Ever since Arcadia Bay, it's like the moment I start to care about someone, or some place, that's it. It's a matter of time before I find something wrong. And I'm out. Maybe that's okay. Maybe being a flaky, lesbian, punk nerd is your destiny. Like Elamon, adventure will always find you. I never thought of it that way. Hey, that's why I'm here. I don't deserve you as a best friend. But I promise I'll do better. Because the truth is, I need you too. <laughs> now will you quit stalling and take your damn turn? Just because Elamon's totally screwed doesn't mean you get to distract me all night. <laughs> he is? I think you're forgetting about the protection amulet I got off that Cyclops last session. I don't forget anything, and don't think I don't have any Halloween surprises planned for you. Oh, spooky.
Okay, we've had no calls in the past hour, which means you're all either partying or sleeping. Both of which I respect. I gotta say though, if you haven't tried spending New Year's Eve locked in a small room talking to yourself, I highly recommend it. Honestly, I might do this every year. Hey there, you're live on KRCT and I'm not alone in the universe. Who's this? Hey, it's Gabe. It's everyone's favorite bartender. So, what are your resolutions and how many have you already broken? Yeah, um, I was actually hoping to get your take on one of them. Great. Let me throw in a song and then call you. No, no, I meant... I called the show so I could talk to the psychic. Oh. All right. What's on your mind? There's... Someone in my family who might be totally alone right now. I've been thinking of reaching out to her. The thing is, it's been seven years, and all that time I never got in touch. Why didn't you? <laughs> because I didn't have anything to offer her. That's been my excuse for ages. <sighs> no, look, the truth is I'm terrified of talking to her. I don't know what she's been through. I don't even know if she's okay. I'm freaking out that she hates me, and honestly, I bet I could handle that if I knew it was coming. So, I'm calling you to ask. What's gonna happen if I contact her? What's she gonna say? You know I'm not actually psychic, right? Shh, shh, shh. Don't ruin it. Okay. Give me a second. Hmm. You might not like what I'm seeing. Really? What would be tough for Gabe? But in a good way. You call her up, and it goes even better than you could have imagined. Both of you are a lot more mature now. It's so much easier to communicate, to be honest and get along. And you can't believe what a cool person she is. Uh, why is this bad? Because even while you're laughing and chatting, you feel heavier. You feel the weight of someone depending on you. So you rise to the challenge and learn to be responsible you answer all her emails, reply to all her texts. You start using a calendar so you'd never forget a weekly phone call. Charlotte thinks it's hot. But honestly, it sucks. You miss your total free time and it scares the crap out of you how much you care about her. But it also feels right. And there's no question that you wanna be there for her for the rest of your life. Thanks. Thank you for calling. How's the station? You lonely over there? Honestly, no. Things are pretty great. Okay. Then I'll see you. Read ads, play songs, take calls. I'm a fully automated DJ. Wait up, call back, head over here. Feels like an acrobat.
That's as good a sign as any. Time to say goodbye to this app. Are you sorry to see the winter season go? Not sure how you're going to survive the long holidayless stretch until Valentine's Day? Not to worry. Spamps Grocery has you covered. Keep the winter cheer alive with even more decorations. Get a second Christmas tree, throw a light up 2019 sign on your lawn. Who cares what your neighbors think? And as we ready those New Year's resolutions, Spamps is your one-stop shop for healthy foods to eat during the two weeks you actually use your gym membership. Happy New Year from Spamps. All right, Gabe, what did you... What did you leave out there for me? Hey, we've got a returning sponsor today. Grimley's Auto Repair, serving Haven Springs. Since 2005, when some of y'all were writing Fallout Boy lyrics in your aim away message, you know who you are. Grimley's is opened on every major winter holiday. So if you crashed your car head on into Comet, Cupid, Donner, or Vixen, they're here for you. Again, that's Grimley's Auto Repair, your best and greasiest neighbors. What could fit under the front door? Maybe concert tickets? Valkyrie only uses this when I'm not looking. Which, Valkyrie better be grateful. This cost me three whole dollars. I did a bunch of work on my song. I think it's finally finished.
Subdues, but the first snow to catch the light falls on a precipice, a point of perspective to plan the next move. My little idea has grown up into a whole ass song. Maybe I should share it with someone. Turn into such a grown up. Sorry, Riley, but that horse had to go. Damn, Ike. When did you turn? If it turns out I sold more bird call CDs than punk records this year, I'm gonna give Ryan a wedgie. Dang it, Ryan. I tried to help you, bro. Turns out every record I had on hold for myself was the perfect holiday gift for one of my friends. Yeah, I'm definitely bringing this back for next year. Whoops, haven't served Valkyrie her New Year's Eve treat yet. <laughs> extremely rainbow, extremely body, just like Violet promised. What's New Year's for if not stuffing your face with junk food? Gabe ran into a pole doing bike tricks to make me laugh. Mission accomplished. Damn, Mikey. His name is Quixby. Once renowned for his wisdom and knowledge, he was driven from the Sky Council after the Great Cloud Schism and has sworn revenge. Quixby plans to harvest the children for his dark magic and turn the skies black for a thousand years. He might be nocturnal, 
But now, it's my turn. Okay, let me think. Oh, I cast seismic projection. Let's see how a tsunami tastes. Fail. What? That's an 18 with plus five spell casting. Yes, and you just cast it underwater. So instead of saying seismic projection, you said blub blubic blub blubption. Damn it. Oh, dang. I'm gonna have to put another t-shirt order in. Guess I finally clicked with the customer base. The result of wine night with Charlotte, if memory serves. Nothing quite like being artistically shown up by a 10-year-old to start your year off right. Gotta add the latest game. Definitely a worthy match to close out the year. Look, your fundamentals are solid, but your trash talk needs some serious improvement. As of this moment, you are enrolled in Professor Gabe Chen's Trash Talk University. Damn, man. Sounds prestigious. Okay, Professor. Teach me. Lesson one. You gotta get in your opponent's head. Be ruthless. Use their insecurities against them. Hey, Gabe, how do you spell insecurities? I know how to spell. I N S E C U R a man shut up okay let's move on to lesson two you gotta flex your bragging muscles really just blast a guitar solo right in their stupid face you know dude what do you know about flexing do you even lift bro <laughs> whatever I can live more than you. Do you honestly believe that's true? You want to test me? Lesson three. When all else fails, schoolyard insults are your best friends. You suck. No, you suck. No, you suck. No, you suck. No, dude, you suck. You're the one who sucks. Well done. Thanks for the lesson, Professor. How'd I do? I've taught you all I can. The student has become the master. Should all the acquaintance be forgot? Never resented snow until it became my job to clear it. A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve? My friends are dorks.
how does Ducky make all of this stuff while also spending every waking minute of his life at the bar? Maybe time travel. A fucking scavenger hunt on New Year's Eve? My friends are dorks. We're gunning for Charlie Brown with this level of decor. Okay, tomorrow I'm finally clearing this off. New Year, new bulletins. Charlotte and I were not built for that meditation class. Felt like termites were chewing up my fucking legs. Was this worth $19.99? Yes. If someone told me when I started this random ass job that we'd get popular enough to sell merch, I would have punched them in the foot. Managed to do three late night practice sessions this week. It's actually kind of nice playing in an empty store. They said, don't look far. So, so he's like killing his own people? What the hell? Getting pretty mushy, even for Gabe. Typical Ryan, making triple sure I get it. Bright, illuminate, shine. Okay, Ryan's talking about some kind of light. You're on with Steph. Hello, Stephanie. Is this Ducky? Indeed it is. I'm calling with an inquiry about the future. <laughs> I'm seriously flattered. I'm inquiring about my gentleman's mortality wager. Sorry, you're what? Many years ago, my friends and I buried a chest of some value deep in the Nevada desert. We agreed that the last of us to remain alive would win the right to dig up that chest and claim its contents. It's a common arrangement, although it's <laughs> admittedly fallen out of favor and legality. You may know it as a tontine. How old are these friends of yours? Considerably older than me. And... How old is that? <laughs> you rascal, Stephanie! 
I'll consult the fates and be right back. So glad this is up to the D20 and not me. Four. Sorry, Ducky. Or yay. So, Ducky's Tontine. Ducky, I'm back. Prognosticate away. Happily, or sadly, your friends all continue to live this year. So you don't win your Tontine. You're certain? They're really old. I mean, I guess you could still go and kill them? Go all John Wick or whatever? I would never dream of it. As a gentleman and a friend. Uh, also, murder voids the terms of the Tontine. Seems like a smart thing to put into the contract. But thinking about your friend's death so much causes you to remember why you were friends with them in the first place. You decide to visit each of them over the year and have a great time reconnecting on a totally Tontine-free level. If I cannot be rich in gold, I will be rich in friendship. Thanks for calling, Ducky. KRCT is brought to you by the Black Lantern, where at this very moment, there's a New Year's rager brewing. You still have time to... Win one of the raffle prizes donated by local artisans. Also, Tap Out Night is the last Thursday of every month. The Lantern offers... Okay, well, it says here they offer dink specials. So head there on Thursdays to score a discount dink. Happy New Year from the Black Lantern, the beer-scented heart of Haven Springs. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? What the hell is Ducky up to? Hope I've done the old place proud. Damn. We had a good time together that day. Huh, Shar. My sweet, precious children, no one will hurt you here. I... <laughs> what? Good effort, Ethan.
Okay, that clue's in here somewhere. See, Valkyrie? We're best friends. It says so right here. Gotta keep looking. Where's that next clue? Damn, I must have really made her feel bad. In the end, I was the one who needed to figure out her shit. Misty looks a little creepy, but once you get to know her, she's actually armless. My best thrift shop find. Ugly as sin, comfy as hell, and probably bed bug free. Finally found the last clue. Just have to find my prize. Holy shit, this is rad. You wonderful bunch of absolute geeks. Gotta finish up the radio show. Can't drink on the job. New Year, you're on with Steph. Oh, wow. Hi. I have a major problem I'd love your help with. My college minor was in major problems. Let's hear it. Okay, it's about a Christmas present I got this year from my grandma. Let me guess. Peer pressure has you scared to wear the ugly sweater, even though you actually love it to death. I wish it were that, honestly. My grandma bought me a $4,000 video camera with the lighting rig. Whoa. I know. I don't want her paying for that. She's a retired grocer. But it's not just about the expense. For a while, I wanted to be a movie director, and grandma super latched onto it. DVDs, filmmaking books, online courses. Now this. I'm guessing you're not as into filmmaking anymore? Honestly, 
The more I've learned about the industry, the more I question if it's really something for me. So what do I do? Return the camera and just roll over her feelings with the truck? I will consult the cosmos. <sighs> 12 doesn't tell me much. What does one do with an overexpensive gift? Cosmos consulted. I'm braced for it. You return the whopper of a gift and come clean with Grandma after all those years of misguided presence. Oh, my stomach hurts. It's a thorny conversation, not at all softened by your Grandma's homemade raspberry tarts. Even though she's embarrassed, she's thankful that you were honest. It shows that you really do value her. That's a relief. And instead of video cameras, Grandma makes you a holiday sweater every year featuring Rudolph in various summertime occupations. Oh? Gardener, lifeguard, ice cream truck driver, seasonal orchard hand, that sort of thing. Is she trolling you? Mm, it's unclear. Huh. But you learned something important. Never return a gift from Grandma? No matter what happens, there's nothing you can say or do to make your Grandma stop adoring you. And the more you get out in the world, the more people you meet, the more you realize how rare and special that is. Thanks, Steph. That means a lot. You got it. I've done enough work tonight. Almost time to break open the champagne. All right, I think it's about time to crack open that champagne. Okay, Jed, what have you hooked me up with? Close enough. Happy New Year, Valkyrie! Wherever you are. Shout out to anyone who sung along with that bridge. You're awesome. New releases in just a minute, but first, let's hear from you. Hey there, you're live on KRCT. How's it going? Hey Steph, I heard you don't do fortunes anymore. Could you, could you make an exception? Sorry, those days are over. But why? Did something happen? Not really. 
Just started thinking life's more interesting if you don't try to predict everything first. <sighs> it's such a tiny question. All I want to know is which friend should I... The taller one. Thanks for calling. Question from Rochelle in Colorado Springs. How's Valkyrie doing? Val's doing great. She's completely moved in. She loves to sleep on my lap. She's scratching all the customers. I'm in heaven. <laughs> all right. Here's a new release from The Wednesday. Let me know what you think.